We have one more remarkable storyteller to share with you this morning. One whose voice illustrates how powerful stories can change lives and change the world. has never been a moment quite like this one. We have this unique opportunity to rise to our best selves in how we use and choose to use both our technology and our humanity. We're all at a crossroads where we get to decide if we want to reach beyond the borders of our hearts and minds to face the daunting challenges of our time. Each of us comes to this earth with a deep potential that yearns to be fulfilled, with a love to be set free. We all crave connection. We search for common ground. We want to be heard, but we also need to listen, to open, be open, and contribute in order to harness our hopes and dreams and to heal our divisions. That's why I have joined forces with Apple. Because they're the company that has reimagined how we communicate. I've joined in order to serve this moment because the Apple platform allows me to do what I do in a whole new way, to take everything I've learned about connecting to people to the next level. Because they're in a billion pockets, y'all, a billion pockets. <laughs> the whole world's got them in their hands. And that represents a major opportunity to make a genuine impact. So I am proud and honored to be a part of this new platform where I can connect with people around the world to share meaningful ways to create positive change. My intention is to illuminate consciousness and to build greater awareness through compelling conversations with newsmakers, with leaders, with artists, with people in all walks of life. I want to reach that, that sweet spot where insight and perspective, truth and tolerance actually intersect. 
So I have two documentaries in the works right now, one exploring the toll of sexual harassment, assault, and violation in the workplace. The working title is Toxic Labor. The other, yet unnamed, multi-part series focuses on mental health and how this scourge of depression and anxiety, post-traumatic stress, addiction, trauma, and loss is just devastating lives daily across the globe. And what I know is if we do our jobs right, we're gonna replace shame and we're gonna replace stigma with wisdom, with some compassion, and with honesty. And now, for what I love the most, for me, there's nothing more thrilling than being transported by a brilliant book, nothing. And the only thing actually more gratifying than an extraordinary read is being able to share that experience with others. And we're gonna do just that by building the biggest, the most vibrant, the most stimulating book club <laughs> on the planet. It is a club. Listen to this. Imagine where Apple stores stream a conversation with the author and me live across all devices, across all borders, uniting people to stories that remind us that no matter who you are or where you're from, every man, woman, and child looks up in awe at the same sky. So I want to literally convene a meeting of the minds connecting us through books. For as long as I can remember, I've had this dream that for us all to someday realize that deep potential that we are each born to. It abides in every soul. I know this to be true. And my deepest hope is that we all, humans, get to become the fullest, fullest version of ourselves as human beings, to join in the mission and vision for our common good, to leave this world more enlightened, kinder, and better than we found it, and to move together one billion plus strong into a future of our own design, all connected through Apple!